Hey, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to a, a little indie classic, little roguelite fun. It's The Binding of Isaac. Repentance. Repentance plus, <laughs> technically. Uh, I've got a couple mods on uh, for this, but but we're back for another season of uh, of the modded Eden Streaks. Brought back the the OG intro for it as well. Hopefully, uh, hit some nostalgia for some of you. This is a weird weird video. <laughs> <laughs> for me to be making it just feels odd if i'm honest with you um we're doing eden streaks okay just i'm look is what i like to do is what i like to do okay now there's gonna be some of you look i do not want to lock anything behind uh achievements no please please go away uh monster manuel succubus dude easy i know this here's your seed geg 9 zrgm if you want to play along i got you know gilderoy lockhart over here Item room gives me a, a rotten baby to start. It's just a beautiful start. It's a beautiful start. Uh, it feels weird to be back playing a little bit of Isaac. Is, there's going to be numerous questions, right? So allow me to to get them all out of the way <laughs> right, right here and right now. Um, Tyler, where were you for the past, I don't know, how many months has it been? It's actually been about seven months uh, since I've, I've played Isaac. Uh, where have you been for seven months? Oh, I've just been making content on other games uh, because I, I kind of just got tired of playing Isaac, right? Uh, you're also going to be like, why why play Isaac right now, right? What, what's the point in coming back, checking out, uh, checking out some stuff? One of the big reasons, genuinely one of the big reasons is I've actually been, been having a, don't tell anybody, I've been having a small craving of playing Isaac recently. Um, I never got to really check out Fiendfolio, um, when it launched, and then I also, um, there's a mod Retribution that we have installed. My entire mod pack, I'll hopefully have it, uh, in the description of this, uh, video. But I also, I, I wanted to check out Retribution, it's one of my favorite Phantom Pains, is just an annoying pill, man. Just an annoying pill. Um, but, but Retribution is one of my favorites, and I haven't, I haven't been able to check out their, their new Repentance update. So, uh, very excited to, to check out some of this stuff, uh, and, and get a little bit of, of Isaac fun going. But I, I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? This is, look, I've never lied to you. <laughs> Just kidding, I lie to you, like, all the time. But in this case, I'm not lying to you, okay? Eh, hey, just go down. I don't have any money. I don't got any. I'm min maxing. Who who do you think I am? Tyler from uh, a year ago? Nah, I'll probably min max a little <laughs> at some point. But there there wasn't crap that we could do. I could have used that bomb to get the secret room right above us. Oh well. Look, just just get back in the get back in the damn swing of things first, okay? But I don't want to I don't want to lie to you in any way. Uh, a big reason for me coming back and and playing some Isaac right now. It's because you watch it. <laughs> it's because you watch it. Um, and frankly, I I would love to have you watch this series here on the channel. Um, I've been doing a lot of fun stuff here on the YouTube channel over the past uh, couple of months. Love this room, if we can make it actually happen. Um, we've been doing a lot of fun stuff. Ton of variety, ton of unique games and things like that. But we are coming up on... Um, Oleximus, which if you don't know what Oleximus is, basically it's a, a month-long event that we do around the holidays. It always starts on December uh, 1st, and then it always ends uh, sometime at the end of December. I end up taking normally a pretty long break from YouTube at the end of the month, just because it, it ends up being a, a little bit of a taxing month, and you know I like to enjoy the holiday, relax a little bit. Uh, but... Aleximus is a, a month-long event where we kind of just celebrate the holidays. We, we play some some old fan favorites on the channel. Uh, but we also, the, the most important thing is we, we raise money for charity the entire month of December. Um, and this is going to be, I think, the fifth year that I've done this. Um, which is crazy. It feels like yesterday <laughs> that I did the very first uh, Aleximus charity event. Thing. Um, but we're going on like five years of doing this. Last year we raised almost five thousand dollars for charity, which was absolutely insane. And I wholeheartedly, I don't really expect to to hit that <laughs> that amount of uh, money this year raised for charity. What the frick are these, dude? Oh, I love this. 
they make an incredible sound. <laughs> I'm such a huge fan of that, man. Okay, um, anime solar. I'm gonna tell you, I just, I just like don't care about it. So just leave. I'm, I'm okay with the, uh, I'm okay with, with what we got. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm with it. Um, but anyway. I, I'm, I'm super excited to do the, the charity stuff again this year. I don't fully expect to raise that much money for it. Uh, just because my, my channel... The sad truth of the situation is my, my channel is in a significantly worse state this year. Uh, and part of that was, was dropping Isaac for seven months, right? But another part of that is just like, it's been a really, really bad year for games. Um, and and we'll, we'll probably talk about that uh, a little bit at some point because uh it, it really has been a tough one this year in, in terms of games um so I'm, I'm mainly the reason one big reason why i'm bringing back isaac is because uh helps to bring some people back to the channel shed some light on the charity event that we're doing uh every year we we raise money for extra life charity which is a, a charity that supports uh local children's hospitals um so Technically, the, the charity money will be going towards a local hospital to me, but it's still going towards uh, local children's hospitals in in a uh, way that helps to plus two range plus point four damage. Okay, sure. And sure, I'll go I'll go devil deals today. I like never go devil deals, man. This feels very weird <laughs> to go devil deals. Okay, I got flight now. Do I care? No, let's just we'll go down to downpour. See what the heck's going on down here. What what is this? <laughs> I got no clue what that is. Go down. But uh, they support local children's hospitals by by giving kids a, quote, extra life. Uh, and it's basically they, they help to uh, just give kids some fun while they're in the hospital. Um, it's a really, really awesome organization. Like I said, I've worked with them uh, five years now, basically. Um, I also was fortunate enough to, to participate in a in IRL. That has to be a Tinted Rock, right? What the frick? It's not a Tinted Rock, and this is a weird, like, bumbo poop? Yeah, it's literally just, like, a big thing. It's a big poop stick with an X on it. Okay, uh, sure. Sorry, I didn't know. I forgot about the mirror, man. I kind of forgot about a lot in this game, <laughs> uh, which is probably not going to bode well for this series uh, in any stretch of the imagination, but... Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm not, I'm not concerned yet. There's so many new enemies that my my life is in shambles. Uh, but anyway, the moral of the story here is an awesome, awesome charity. And really, what what benefits me the most is just having a little bit of visibility into the channel around this time of year. Um, it helps you to to hopefully check out some of the the awesome other content that we're doing. You know, some of these throwback series and and you know, crazy weird events that we do, and we've got charity goals, and we're, we're doing funky streams and stuff as well. Uh, it's also, so this video is going to come out before this comes out. What the heck's going on in here, man? We, we got like a weird little drain vent in here. Storage battery? What the hell is this? <laughs> okay. So oh, interesting. So it's just like a... Interesting. So I can charge it up. That's honestly like super cool, but I'm gonna take the spin down die, right? Because spin down die is just like a little. I don't want to be rude, but it's actually just a little bit cooler than the battery. Uh, I like having having spin down. Weird pill, fish oil. No clue. Not not even the slightest clue. Okay, not even the slightest. I'm I'm probably like missing a bunch of secrets and random stuff, and you guys are gonna be like screaming at me uh, that I have severely messed up playing fiend folio i don't know what the hell's going on man i'm just kind of here so i don't get fined right now but uh anyway hope you enjoy some of the fun stuff we do on the channel this month i i am going to be launching um no oh, jar of the vampire damage up now there's been changes to isaac too that i'm, I'm not fully up to date on either so we'll, we'll be exploring some of those new patches and things like that as we go too uh hey sick so we could spin this down to uh, to thingy contract from below. I don't I don't really think I care. That's an awesome feature, man. Let's let's just take you. That's fine. And then I suppose this can give me 
some soul hearts. If, if, hey, okay, hey, okay. Now, now we damn talking. Now we damn talking. Now the min-maxing starts to return. He's still got it. Of course he's still got it. What do you, what do you take me for? Okay. Little extra key action. Is that uh, gold inside that pipe? It is gold inside that pipe, baby. Okay. We're doing good. Anyway, uh, as I was saying before, I distracted myself. We're launching an update to the pyramid here December 1st. Uh, and we're also going to be doing a, a, a pretty big charity event with the pyramid as well. I'm not going to, to give out a date uh, for that quite yet. I want to still confirm a couple of things. Is this the same crawl space? Yeah. Okay, cool. Works for me. Um, but we are going to be doing a charity event for for the pyramid as well. Um, that is going to be for our, our normal charity that we do throughout throughout the month. Um, but we're going to get some other streamers involved. It's going to be a, a big thing. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you don't know what the pyramid is... Okay, I could spin this down into On Pickup Grants a Wisp. And whenever this wisp, a wisp is destroyed, grant you a new wisp. I'm going to tell you... As good as that sounds, it doesn't. <laughs> so, so that's okay with me. Um, what is this? Creates a camera flash that destroys projectiles. Gives a tears up when you flash yourself. <laughs> Brother, I flash myself every morning when I get out of the shower and look in the mirror. Uh, or the eternal D10. Reroll enemies in the current room. Enemies have a chance to disappear. I, I'm saving this spin down diamond. I, I think that we're going to be able to get something get something a little nicer from it in the future anyway the pyramid ultimate it's a uh game that i have created so to speak um and it's a a card game that involves other roguelike and indie games uh, and we've played it a bunch on the channel i've, I've made a, a good good bit of content on it at this point so you can definitely search around and check it out um but we we now probably should have checked to see what the spin down was we, we now have uh, an update coming on December 1st to kick off Aleximus that's adding like another 25 decks of games uh, to the pyramid, which is going to be crazy. There's so many funky and weird things. I can't get in there still. Uh, funky and weird things that we're adding to the pyramid. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. It's going to be a really, really awesome uh, kind of... Kind of... Uh, bit of content to make and, and hopefully we're gonna get some other people involved and and just be able to to really spread the love a little with uh with the holiday season so there's a lot of reasons to be back playing isaac right but most importantly i and i mean it sincerely i hopefully you can hear it in my voice because i know there's gonna look one of the big reasons why i stopped playing isaac in the first place is because the comments on isaac are freaking horrible <laughs> okay um the Isaac community that comments on videos, my community rocks, okay? And some of you are going to be awesome in the comments. But then there's going to be, like, some some other people that slip in, and they do not rock, okay? Um, the Isaac community is just rough sometimes to deal with. Uh, and it started to take a toll on me a little bit, and it was like, I'm not really getting much out of playing Isaac anymore. Um, so I left, right? And I just decided, you know, I, I got other games I want to play. There wasn't really any new content in Isaac at the time. Um, and it just, it made sense to, to focus on some other stuff for a little bit. Yo, this baby is freaking cracked, dude. You you see him going sicko mode? Holy lordy. I love to see that. Uh, okay, honestly, spin me down into Sinpoil. That's an insane damage up. And I have no issues with it. I'll take the knife piece. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you think I'm doing the all the things in this episode, you're probably crazy. I'm probably just gonna like go to the chest and enjoy my life. <laughs> um, but we'll see. I mean, maybe I'll do the, the mother chase. I do have the mod turned on that turns the, the mother chase into Alexa chasing you. So that is a big reason to, to do the mother chase. But, uh... No, in the end, I, I'm really being honest when I say this. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing a little bit of Isaac. Um, I'm not just using the game for views. I'm utilizing the game for views. Uh, but I'm, I'm actually looking forward to playing 
uh, and checking out everything there is to see in Fiend Folio. I have been talking to my good friend, Mr. BD1P. Um, he actually, so massive, massive thank you to him. He provided me with uh, his mod pack that he uses. I then tweaked it because uh, I didn't want it. I actually didn't want it to be super modded. I think that how we have it right now is pretty good. Um, and and I, may, I may add some stuff in some places, tweak it a little bit, but it's not laggy at all, which sometimes mod packs, you can really start to crank the lag in a little bit. Um, it's not laggy at all. It, it's got some pretty, pretty good vibes. Grants you a moderate boost to all stats until you get hit. Okay. I mean, sure. That just seems like a nice thing to have, right? Oh, no, no, hey, 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 chill, chill, chill. Um, but I definitely wanted to check out Fiend Folio, right? Uh, I loved Fiend Folio in Afterbirth Plus. Um, thought it was honestly like one of the only reasons to have Afterbirth Plus <laughs> near the end of it. Um, but I, I did get some, some warnings from my good pal BD1P, um, that Fiend Folio is freaking hard. So this is, uh... It's gonna be an experience for somebody that hasn't played Isaac. I don't know what the hell that thing is. It's just a happy cactus, man. Is that a cactus in your pocket, or are you just excited to see me? Probably, probably the raging erection you have is is the reason for the cactus in your pocket. Okay, um, just give me my super secret room real quick. Really? Not feeling it? Okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll check you later. But B BD1P did say, uh, Fiend Folio little hard okay and there's some bosses that are are a wee bit challenging in it uh so i'm excited to, to see some of that content uh and just see everything that there is to see in fiend folio okay i believe that i maybe oh dude no that was infamy that was infamy that blocked that shot that's an amazing situation for me wow i'm out here getting perfection <laughs> okay plus one max heart plus one morbid heart what the hell's a morbid heart? What the hell's a morbid heart? I got no clue, man. Not even the slightest clue. Damage times 1.5. Is the Kapala? Enemies of the same type and variant split damage evenly. I have no clue what that means. I'm taking it every day of the week. And then I'm also taking this pentagram, which I guess was the morbid heart. Uh, but now I have the Leviathan transformation. So, I mean, that's pretty sick, right? Pretty, pretty pleased about that one. Um, dude, this is a, a phenomenal start to a run. Feels good to be back if this is how all the runs are going to be. I got 15 damage right out the get-go. Rate of fire, I mean, not amazing, but, but pretty good. For an Eden start, this was a, a very, very good Eden start. Boy, wait, what, what were they talking about with Fiend Folio being difficult? I don't know, man. I'm looking at, uh... Okay, fair enough, you guys. <laughs> Kind of, kind of poor timing. Oh, okay, the lag, the lag. You, you chill out. You chill out. Oh, I ran into the fire again. Okay, maybe, maybe here's a wild concept. Um, he said, "Yep, what a concept." I could use a little lag myself, and we could all use a little not being cocky while we play. What the frick are you? What the frick are you, dude? <laughs> you have to be, like, craft a trinket or something. But I need a trinket in order to craft a trinket. So let's... I don't know. Let, I mean, let's let's worry about that in the future. Uh, also, I'm gonna tell you. Frickin' love the idea. Oh, dude, I was so confident that the Ultra Secret Room was gonna be there. And I have no idea why, because even when I was playing Isaac Daly, I had no idea how to find them. <laughs> so, not really surprised by this one. Ah, uh, crawl space? Okay. Uh, damage up on pickup, replace all soul and black hearts with immoral hearts. On pickup, replace all red hearts with immoral hearts. I have no idea what the hell an immoral heart is. Okay, don't kill me. Alright, I got a bunch of immoral hearts. That was a plus nine damage up? Excuse moi? What? Okay, um, sure, yeah, sounds good. I will, I will accept this. No, never mind, my damage up went away. Oh, just kidding, I was inside a succubus. Haha, haha, very funny, okay. 
here I was thinking that uh, this item was cracked to an oblivion, and it was just uh, it was just minorly cracked to an oblivion. Thank you. Uh, what do you got for me? Are you a wizard? Great to be back. Honestly, addicted. Great to be back. Um, how about you? The holy, holy beep boop. <laughs> Okay, um, health and a trinket. Isaac no longer has movement momentum. Okay. Um, honestly, I'm just gonna be 100% real with you. I didn't actually realize that Isaac had movement momentum. But, you know what? Very accurately put, he does not. Or he does have movement momentum. And now he doesn't at all. And this guy stole my trinket and, and isn't giving me another one. Oh, that's pretty rude. Okay, see ya. <laughs> catch ya. Catch ya down below. Have a good life. Dude, so many new things to explore. It's like I'm playing a brand new game. It's, it's good stuff. It's very, very good stuff. Uh, until I lose. And then I'm gonna be like, God, what a trash game. What a, what a horrible, horrible video game. This, this son of a gun still, he confuses me too, but we're, we're okay. What the hell is an immoral heart, man? And what the hell is this? And what the hell is this? What the hell is all of this? I'm bombing it? Oh god, dude, what the hell is this? Okay, weird pill. Tears down? Eh, frick you, I guess. Speed down, frick you too. What are you? Uh, well, fantastic, what an incredible, uh, incredible little piece of of literature right there. The Great Gatsby move over. I got uh I got two troll bombs in a in a damn incredible looking red chest. I don't even know what that what the frick? Dude my damage is insane on this run. And kidney stone just makes it like even more insane. Which works for me. Are these enemies? I guess they are enemies. I lost my black heart. Now immoral heart. If I were in immoral heart Here's what I think the Immoral Heart does, okay? And this is possibly I'm like reading the past right now, and I've had these before and knew what they did. I think that when I get hit, it's gonna go down to half of an Immoral Heart, right? But then if I clear the room and I go to the next room, it's gonna refill that, that half. So it's basically like a, a temporary... I mean, it's still a, a, a heart, I guess. I don't know. It just shush uh look we're going to i actually think that this is the correct play fully upgrade you at your sewing machine now we have the gotcha go take away five cents and spawn one of the following this is a, a one quality item i think it's horrible <laughs> okay i think it's where i had to think about it for a second um i think it's just like absolutely horrifically bad five cents for that stuff at just like a percentage chance of getting it also this this secret room variant is disgusting to just be able to get whatever the hell you want um two soul hearts when you walk into each secret room is it's an insane deal very very good um okay item room item room i'm not taking scissors so that's all fun and dandy. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Just just chuck that down here? Is there a specific spot for me to put that? Okay, take this. Infestation? Sure. And the D8. Here's the thing. My run is so good that the D8 is such a horrible idea. Which is why we do it. Okay, Um, it gave me another 4 damage. It decreased my tears, which... Ideally, I would have rather you decrease my damage a little bit, increase my tears, but... Guess what? You can't ask for everything. It is Christmas. I'm, I'm on the naughty list, I think. I'm pretty sure the Isaac community put me on the naughty list after I didn't play Isaac for seven months, but... I'm on the Brotato nice list, so that, that counts for something, I suppose. Uh, okay. Silver charm plus two soul heart containers. Heart containers are converted into three... Just frick off, okay? I, we don't... I don't need you. Taking damage gives a... <laughs> you gotta read a freaking essay on <laughs> some of these items, man. Just like, can't you just make an item that's like plus two damage, uh, you know, plus one tears, and eats your ass whenever you get hit or something like that? Taking damage gives a chance proportional to health to double your damage for the remainder of the room. 
The room after you suffer a 0.85 multiplier, having this item gives rooms a 35% chance to drop joy pills on completion alongside existing rewards. I don't even know what a joy pill is. So sure, I'll take it. Um, sure, I'll take it because now it actually like gives me stuff. And then sure, we'll we'll come in here. Did I find the stuff here? No. Yes. There should be. Uh, we should do the mind chase, man. I have flight. They're gonna get rid of my flight, but I should still do the mind chase. I shouldn't be a little weenie. If I'm gonna do this, I gotta do it right. I gotta do the damn mind chase. Was that a Hollow Knight enemy? <laughs> <laughs> Activate the joyful effect. Popping three joy pills within a 10 room period will apply addicted to me. I don't know what the frick. What the hell is this? What the hell is joyful, man? And why do I also uh, not have the remaining button that I need? You little butt. Where the, where the hell's the butt? Did I not hit a button in one of these rooms? Where the hell's the remaining button? There's no... Dude, my brain is wired to if I see any button... Are they, are they like behind the pillars? Any button in any location, I'm just gonna press. Okay? So there's no way I didn't press a button. I refuse... I, they they re-rolled the button. That's the only explanation. See? I pressed that one. There's not one here. They, they re-rolled my button in one of these rooms. Or, on the flip side, it's be it was behind that pillar. Okay. You know what? Congrats. You got me. You actually bested me. There's also soul hearts inside of that uh, secret room that I, I very likely should go back and get. This is me telling you it so that when I don't go back and get them, um, you know that I meant to do it or uh, I can fly. No, nope, never mind. I can't fly. I could only fly... I could only fly over the rocks in that first room for no reason whatsoever, which makes no sense. But dude, I've been in the business long enough. It's Isaac, man. Sometimes stuff doesn't make sense and you just kind of suck it up and deal with it. <laughs> so we're, we're good. We're good. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Send me up. Take the damn knife piece. Say hello to uh, Tyler, your mother. He's, he's here to... Uh, he's here to... To have sex with your mom? Okay, beautiful. Uh, have sex with your mom has a, a very... Very, uh, straightforward connotation. Do your mom is is so much more elegant, right? Have sex with your mom implies that we're, we're in some kind of consensual relationship or something. Okay, just... <laughs> get, get me out of here. <laughs> get me out of here and then also out of the conversation. Come on, get out of here, Tyler. Nobody likes you anyway. We all moved on. We watched Invicta now. We watch um, My Mystical Cat. I don't... S something like that, man. I'm not up to date. Dude, the other day, I I don't want to bring up my, my dear friend BD1P again. But uh, he, he brought up an Isaac YouTuber who has apparently got like hundreds of thousands of views. I've never heard of him in my life. <laughs> not, not even like a little bit. I extremely apologize. If if the person with 100,000 views is watching this video, um, I apologize for not knowing who you are. I hope we can be good friends. Um, but I had no idea who you were. So, bless your heart. I'm honestly, dude, I think I'm, I've become... I think I've become a boomer over the past seven months. I kind of am completely out of touch on almost everything in life as a whole. It's like I kind of, my day-to-day my -day business is just I, I wake up, I, I work, and then when I'm done with work, I just like watch garbage television shows. Tears up. If you are about to take fatal damage, turn into China. Health bar is converted into China's health bar. Excuse me? Held trinkets will automatically be consumed at cost of 5 coins. Trinket multipliers will each reduce this cost by 1. Okay. Shattered Cursed Urn. What? 
If you have mom's box and are about to take fatal damage, turn into China. I still want the tears up, okay? I just want... I'm not gonna take fatal damage. I just want a tears up, okay? I'm glad that we can agree with this situation and I can live a, a happy life now. Anyway, I just watch garbage TV. We're, we're watching a show right now that I'm sure some of you have watched, so, so don't spoil the ending, even though, to be honest with you, I'm not sure I actually, like, give a singular damn about the show at this point in my life. Um, that's a Hagalaz rune, that's a fool card. Sure, I'll take the fool card in this situation. Okay, frick you. Frick you, honestly. What the hell was that? <laughs> did, did you hear Chewbacca get stabbed with a fork there for a second? <laughs> what, what, what the hell was that all about? Okay, um, I don't know. <laughs> this is the hardest challenge I've had to face. I don't know how to get past the, the blue fire. Just leave, man. That game's all whacked up. Um, anyway. Oh, God, Chewbacca. <laughs> Somebody help him. Ah! Somebody help him, dude. <laughs> He's getting stabbed. Oh, God, we're playing disc room now? Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a mess up in here. Anyway, we're watching this garbage can show. It's called Manifest. Uh, you've probably heard of it. Um, I don't even know why we're watching it anymore. On use, the item is held up. Enemies within you feel fear? Nah. Frick you. Okay, what is Empty Heart? Oh, I know what Empty Heart is. This is, uh... Every Empty Heart I have, I get damage at the start of the floor. Is that Empty Heart? I don't know, man. Look, my repentance knowledge is freaking horrible. It was bad then. It's even worse now. I'm gonna be calling stuff different names. It's, it's gonna be... It's gonna be a disaster. I, I hope you're ready. But anyway, it's a show called Manifest. Basically, these people uh, get on an airplane, and then the airplane ends up, uh, I don't know, disappearing in Cuba somewhere. And then uh, they come back, and they, they get off their flight, and it's five years in the future. And then everybody... Honestly, it's the most realistic part of the show. Everybody's racist towards them. Because they're like, you freaks, you, you time-traveled. So everybody's racist. <laughs> I guess racist probably ain't the best word. Prejudice would be the better one. But it's still, dude, it, it, it's funny. It's just like a horrible show it is the best part about it. Plus one heart container on damage. Trigger a random on damage effect. Can it be Chewbacca going Ugh, every time I get hit? Pet rock familiar that can be pushed around and block shots. Fills pits when pushed into them. I actually unironically think this is an insanely cool idea. Yeah, you know what? Just because I respect the hell out of that, that is such a good idea for an item. I'm, I'm a very large fan. Congratulations. I don't know what mod added it, but you're, you you got yourself a, a hell of a good item right there. Hello, Thwomp. I've played enough Mario to know where this one's going. Okay. Is this... No, this is just Gahana 1. Gahanna? Gehenna? Ga, I don't... Why do I not know how to pronounce it? I played this game for like a year and a half in Repentance, man. Like, I promise you, I have done a lot of this before. I don't know why I've, I've lost all all semblance of Isaac knowledge. Okay, keep, keep it coming. But anyway, the show is... It's one of those shows where it's so bad. Are you ever going to take damage? Or are we just... Is this our life now? I think this is just my life now. Uh, all my hearts are gone. Uh, all my hearts are, are freaking gone. Just kidding. They're all little tiny fiends that are killing everything. Are you going to turn back into hearts for me? Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Is that the first time I've been hit in like five floors? Am I lo Is that seriously the first time I've been hit that we, we haven't seen that? That's pretty wild. Um, Okay. Sure, one step closer to conjoined sounds great. I, I really just don't care about Book of the Dead, though. I know you're probably like, Tyler, you should take it for the, the bookworm transformation. Just don't. <laughs> don't don't tell me what I should and shouldn't do in this situation. Okay, another fiend heart. How lovely. Uh, also, keys that damage me. Probably should have seen that coming. They were a different color. Um... 
probably would have still done it even if I knew that they damaged me, but that's that's beside the point. It's crazy how muscle memory kicks in in this game too. Like I knew exactly where that that keeper was going to was going to go, man. Spawn an item from the current room's pool, turn a heart into uh, a cursed heart. I'm popping this in a secret room. I I remember some things, man. Not a lot, but I remember some things. What the frick are you? This is actually a thwomp. You you are you are a thwomp. Yeah, you're just a thwomp. That's fine. Uh, evil eyes cool enough. I got 3.72 luck, so I, I think that that's fine. What is, what is, what are you? The D2, but like weird. The D2 can be thrown and will spin on the floor. Any pickups, enemies, and tears touching it will be rerolled. Okay, um, yes, but not for the reason you'd think. The alpha coin, oh god, 25% chance to spawn a coin, 25% chance to spawn a carter pill, a variety of effects based on the current room and exploration. So, throw this thing down, just because I'm like, okay, that did nothing, cool, cool, excited to see what it actually does here sometime in the, the nearby future. I, I just wanna I'm just gonna give it a little little toss down in here. It's spinning. It's having a good time. It stops. We got a cardboard box. Just got a crate in it. Okay. Um. I don't know, dude. A lot of lot of stuff for sure. This is a Pokemon. I I've pretty much never played a Pokemon game, but I'm I'm a hundred percent convinced that was a Pokemon. So yeah. Okay. So when you do re-roll my tears, huh? That's the one that I'm most interested in. Is is you re-rolling my tears? Because if I can just, like, oh, God. Okay, honestly, I'm going to die on this run. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to realize. I thought these fiend hearts were, were amazing. Um, they are not amazing. They they are a small little mistake, I, I think. I, I think they're a small little mistake where I'm probably going to get killed by them. The small wood. Uh, this is you when you wake up in the morning. Uh, okay, yeah, I mean, we definitely take it. The small wood. That's just a body bag, man. Okay. Uh, what do you got? Bone saw. Using near a beggar instantly kills them. Low chance to drop a body part themed item. This is so fricked, but absolutely. And I, I have zero regrets. Okay, experimental pill. Luck up, shot speed down, completely fine. Anything to upgrade over here? Little Abaddon, sure. Go for it. I can upgrade the rock to be a bigger rock. Now that, my friends. That, I mean, you can't make a better game than that. Okay? You can't make a better game than that. You made my pet rock slightly bigger. He ain't that much bigger. Okay? But, God do I love it. I, I love my guy being slightly bigger. That's why uh, I renamed him Little Wood. Just, or small, small wood, little wood. Little wood is the Minecraft YouTuber. <laughs> okay. We golden. Um, Mom, that was pretty easy, actually. Uh, didn't make it to boss rush, believe it or not. Don't know what, what could have convinced you of that. Uh, I can take the negative. Like, nothing's stopping me from doing that. I mean, like, come on, man. You, you already know I'm gonna do it. Really? That just gave me that? Okay. So, take a Baden. Um, is good damage. Then, send it. And then, toss this sucker down. And then, send it into like 150 different tiers. Okay. You know what? I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna clobber the witness, man. Or mother, regret. There's like 17 different names for final bosses in, in Isaac themed games. Okay. And it's Corpse XL. Friends, it's been a pleasure. Okay? It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, we, we find ourselves on the last <laughs> Chewbacca just, just chill for like two seconds. Okay? I get it. Yeah, uh, bleh. Wait, we know. We know. It's like whoever filmed the sound effect. <laughs> like screamed into a tin can and then recorded it okay but friends it's it's been a good ride we're, we're on the final floor of the run whether we win or whether we lose 
I'm still gonna be back for an episode two, so, so don't think that just because I lose the streak, I'm leaving. Um, it's been an incredible experience being back playing some Isaac. Hopefully you uh, have enjoyed it as well. Hopefully we can keep the comments as a, a safe space for, for everybody to in interact and, and have a, a nice experience and reminiscing on the good times when, when Olanke used to play uh, Isaac and had fun with it. It's the D4, man. God, it's such a me thing to do to, to re-roll this run, isn't it? It's such a me thing to do. I won't do it. You know, sometimes you gotta... It's all about maturity and growth, right? Old Olanky would have re-rolled. New Olanky, give, give him like two episodes. <laughs> he probably would have re-rolled, okay? But, but give it... Did you just give me the middle finger out of a chest? Okay, honestly... A little rude, but I, I think I respect it. <laughs> I, I probably would have done the same if I was the chest. Okay, uh, guess what? We're here. It's also me as a boss. Eh, just die, brother. You're good. See ya. Um, rotten pork chop, chance to fire a powerful fart. That's just called eating a lot of beans for dinner. Uh, why did I fire my coin? I, I wanted to fire my coin during the boss fight. Let, let's go back and get, get a little bit little bit more room here are there item rooms on corpse <laughs> it's kind of sad i don't remember that i actually have no idea you're gonna make me do the whole freaking floor and i'm i'm mad actually i'd straight up don't remember at all but yeah we'll see let's let's see if there's anything of come on you gotta go if there where what are you doing just leave. If there's anything of value on this floor, I, I will find it. I will find it, and I will kill it. And Chewbacca getting stabbed with a fork. Okay, fantastic. Keep it coming. What a, what a useless freaking chest. So I am intrigued. We did not see a singular Fiend Folio boss on this run. Um, definitely want to see some fiend folio bosses what the hell man i got a i got a times one heart chilling up in the boonies up there isaac's so weird dude i got no idea what's going on i don't know if i have to unlock the the fiend folio bosses or like what the the vibe is here but i i know there's supposed to be a lot of them okay that's good that's very good We'll get them unlocked. We'll get them found. I'll, I'll tackle some some difficult boss fights. I still have no idea what the help Joy even does. I just pop it every time I see it. You you probably know, and you probably have told me like seven times in the comment section. Uh, and I'm probably just going to like mindlessly heart the comment that, that says what it does. But now that I said that, and then I'm not going to heart the comment because I said it, you're going to be mad because I said it. Okay. I was gonna make a your mom joke with that thing beach whale just laid down on the floor, but look, probably probably overused in the end. What do you got? Addicted? I'm starting to think there ain't crap on this floor, man. I'm just clearing rooms for the sake of extending an already 45 minute video. But if there's something at the end of the rainbow, I'm gonna wanna know, okay? I'm I'm gonna freaking find it. Okay, the fiend hearts are starting. The yin yang orb? What the hell is the yin yang orb? I don't know, but it's melted, so we're we're in the thick of it now. Um, I've lost a, a good bit of health. Oh god, dude, I'm firing, I'm firing blocks of craft singles. But I I gotta know what the hell this one is. Okay, the yin yang orb. Luck affected chance to fire a tier with point one one point two five damage and aggressive homing. Why, why did my tears turn into blocks of cheese? <laughs> it's just never going to get old, honestly. Um, I have no idea what the hell happened here. Oh, what the frick? How the hell did you get here? Is there anything on this floor? Or am I just doing nothing for the sake of doing nothing? It, it, chill, my guy. Chill. You got so much to live for. Why you got to be so weird about it? I really don't have that much health anymore. Hey, got a nice little happy shop in here, man. Take a look at this. Landing. Okay, hold on. 
Landing a tier on an enemy reduces the time until you can fire your next shot. Okay. That that sounds awesome, right? I mean, that that's like a tears up, but weird. Oh, dude, increased tier size is what fish oil is. That's kind of cool. I like shooting big tears. I'm a, I'm a big fan of shoot big tears. I only got five hearts. <laughs> I only got five hearts for this boss fight. I probably should, uh, probably should, should just go fight the boss at this point in time. The loss at this point, I wouldn't say it would hurt. I'm gonna be real, it actually wouldn't affect me in any way, shape, or form. But I would love to win. Like, it would feel good to not play this game for seven months, come back, and win my first run back. Now, I also got handed a win, I think, in a lot of ways, because this run is extraordinarily good. I just, like, one soul heart would have been sick, but I understand. Uh, we, we can't have it all. You you gave me, like, everything I needed on this run. So I, I genuinely, I, I don't feel... I don't feel too bad about you just kind of ma making me win this one at the end. I also think this is your super secret room for no reason. Okay, I think this is your super secret room for no reason. Okay, uh, I actually just like don't care where the secret room is. So we'll check a couple spots along the way, but I'm I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to go. Sometimes it's like you know, when when you're, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna actually say what I was gonna say. I was gonna make an analogy. Oh, dude, freaking hidden tinted rock. Uh, it was an analogy that was probably in poor taste, and we're I mean we're late enough in the video I could probably make it, but we're not gonna. We're not going to test that one. Okay, um... Our tears up right now is crazy. Because every time we hit the enemy, our time until we send the next shot out gets smaller. I don't remember this boss fight at all. This is going to be a very, very interesting scenario. Oh, I do remember this, though. Nope. Not not like this, my friend. Not, not like this. It's going fine. Okay, yeah, that one, that one is unavoidable, as they say. Extraordinarily unavoidable. Okay. You, you've done some, some splitting. The fiends are loose. The fiends are on the loose. Okay. Sure. Are you doing, what are you doing? What are you doing, you little weirdo? You actually spawned ads in the middle of this fight? I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> Legitimately, I don't think I've ever seen this this attack before. Okay, I'm I'm saving our uh, our go absolutely insane play here, nuclear throne attack. Thank you. I'm saving our our go insane play for right now. Now we send it. We we got like a hundred thousand tier effects. Okay, yeah, great, great work, great work. Phantom Phantom Pain is not going to be useful for for this scenario. Okay. What are you doing? You're going that way? You're, you're coming back this way. I'm, I've, I've learned. I've learned. Okay. I've done this before. I've done this before. You're dead. Uh, it's just that easy, ladies and gentlemen. If you've been struggling to fight the, the witness in The Binding of Isaac Repentance, I recommend you watch this little tutorial video uh, from a guy who hasn't played the game in seven months. Hey, uh, thanks so much for watching. Once again, from the bottom of my heart. Feels, feels very good to make an Isaac video. Um, it's just, uh, honestly, like, I was kind of, secretly, I, I was looking forward to recording this, but I also, I actually found it very hard to hit the record button and actually start this one. <laughs> I was just kind of sitting there for a while, staring at my screen, like, trying, trying to get myself hyped up. Because it's tough, sometimes you, you want to make sure a video is really good, right? Hopefully you thought this one was really good. Thank you so much for watching. As always, liking the video, much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.